Hello and welcome to AMG Time Extender System Video Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to continue explanation of Pay Policy section and introduce you to Policies Configuration Windows third tab, which is intended for setting general rules of overtime hours payment. Here, you should first of all decide whether overtime hours should be paid at overtime rate or not. If not, then leave Pay Overtimes box unchecked. If yes, then check Pay Overtimes box and continue configuring parameters that will appear in the tab. In AMG Tender System, there are three levels of overtime. In the Multipliers group box, enter the coefficient of each overtime level by which the wage for overtime hours should be multiplied. Note that if you want to use only first level of overtime, then you can just not configure second and third levels, or go to general settings and disable overtime 2 and overtime 3. In AMG Tender System, there are four types of overtime weekly, bi weekly, daily, and consecutive. You can configure and use some of these types together. Let's start from explaining weekly and bi weekly overtime, which is being configured from weekly, bi weekly tab here. If you want to use any of them, then first of all should be checked Use Weekly, Be Weekly Overtime box. As far as those both types cannot be used together, then you should select which one you want to use, either Weekly or Be Weekly. Then from starting at Combo box, select from which day of week hours should be accrued for Weekly or Be Weekly Overtime. Note that for the proper calculation of weekly or biweekly overtime, it is highly recommended that weekly or biweekly overtime and pay period start from the same day of week. For example, if pay period starts on Sunday, then weekly or biweekly overtime should also start from Sunday. Check close time card at overtime period and at box. If you want that uh, on the overtime period's last day, time card gets automatically closed at any necessary time. That time you should mention here. For example, if you enter in this field 12 a.m., which is the midnight, then on the last day of the overtime period, if employee works over midnight, at 12 midnight will automatically appear clock out and clock in transaction as a result of which in current overtime period will be counted only hours worked before midnight. And any hours worked after midnight will be counted in the next overtime period. In the period limit fields, enter the amount of hours after which the worked hours will be accrued at the overtime level mentioned next to each field. For example, if for first overtime level it is entered 40 hours, it means that hours worked over 40 hours will be recorded as overtime 1. If for second overtime level it is entered 60 hours, it means that hours worked over 60 hours will be recorded as overtime 2. And the same is for third level of overtime. While entering the values, keep in mind that the value of each overtime level should be greater than the value of the previous overtime level. Note that overtime 2 and overtime 3 fields can be inactive if they are disabled from the general settings. Now let's go to Daily Overtime tab and configure daily based overtime hours. First of all, check Daily Overtime box if you want to enable calculation of daily overtime. Then check all those weekdays for which you want to enable calculation of daily overtime. For all checked days from start at overtime level combo box, select at which overtime level the hours should start to be accrued. By default, for all days, regular option is selected. But if you want that on some days, for example on weekend, all hours worked are paid at overtime one rate, then from started overtime level combo box you should select overtime one. 
In the overtime one, overtime two and overtime three fields, enter the amount of hours after which the worked hours will be accrued at the corresponding overtime level. Default values for overtime one and overtime two are eight and twelve hours respectively. If leaving the default configuration, it means that on daily basis hours worked over eight hours will be paid at overtime one rate. And hours worked over 12 hours will be paid at overtime 2 rate. For example, if employee has worked 15 hours, then first 8 hours will be paid at regular rate, then 4 hours at overtime 1 rate, and then 3 hours at overtime 2 rate. While changing these values, keep in mind that the value of each overtime level should be greater than the value of the previous overtime level. Note that overtime 2 and overtime 3 fields can be inactive if they are disabled from the general settings. Then you can check reset at day end boxes. If you want the accrual of overtime hours to be reset at the end of the day. Know that as a day end time is being considered the time you have entered in reset day at field of general tab. For example, if day reset time is midnight and the reset at day end is enabled, then any hours worked after midnight instead of being recorded as overtime worked hours will be recorded as regular hours. Check accrue overtime hours after reset to the next day box. If you want that daily overtime hours after day reset be accrued to the hours of the next day. And also enter here the amount of hours within which the next transaction should be committed. In order overtime hours be accrued to the next day. Note that for this configuration to apply, reset at day and boxes should be enabled. Now let's go to consecutive days tab and configure our time calculation for working on consecutive days. First of all, if you want to enable calculation of consecutive days, over time check consecutive days box. In the number of days field, enter the number of days that employees should work consecutively in order to be eligible for accruing overtime hours. Then in the minimum hours daily field, enter the minimum amount of hours the employee has to work daily during consecutive days. And in the minimum hours total field, enter the minimum amount of hours. The employee has to work totally during consecutive days to be eligible for consecutive overtime. After that, from overtime level come a box, select also the overtime rate to which the hours should start to be accrued after mentioned number of days worked consecutively. So, for example, if you enter 6 days into number of days field, 6 hours into minimum hours daily field, uh, 45 hours in minimum hours totally field, and select overtime 1 as overtime level, then it means that if working 6 days consecutively, each day minimum 6 hours and at least 45 hours totally during 6 consecutive days, then hours worked starting from 7th day will be accrued as overtime 1 pay rate. And as you see, you can create 3 different rules for calculating consecutive overtime. By checking split into 2 overtime levels on days that qualify option, you also get possibility to split the payment for consecutive overtime hours into 2 different overtime rates. It means that you can decide that, for example, the first three hours of each day that qualifies for consecutive overtime payment will be paid at overtime 1 rate and the rest hours at overtime 2 rate. For that, you should enter three hours in after field 
and here from overtime level combo box select overtime 2. Also by checking reset and pay period and option, here you can reset the accrual of consecutive days at the end of the pay period. That's all about the parameters that you should configure for overtime payment. In next video we will refer to the last tab available in policies configuration window. Thank you for your attention.